Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick. Oh my gosh, that's right, we are looking at the Link mod again. The modders made some really cool updates that we really need to check out. So right away, you're gonna notice this mod has got some pretty interesting changes. So if we go after some of these mobs right away, you're gonna notice they're gonna start to drop like Link specific loot. That includes bombs, rupees, arrows. The arrows are also craftable now, so that's pretty cool. So you notice we picked up like a handful of rupees. I had some from before, I think. I think there's another spider down here. Let's go check it out. Oh, he's checking a piggy. Let's let's give him a little bit of a hand. Let's get him with the Triforce right here. Oh, yeah. Why don't we go after the piggies, too? Let's do this. Oh, yeah. A lot of drops right here. What if we equip the... Uh... There you go, bud. I helped you out. Oh, yeah. And kill the piggy, too. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a bomb that dropped. Awesome. So we didn't get any arrows from that little raid, but you guys get the idea. Aw, uh, yeah. Next, we're going to look at some of the awesome tunics that the modder updated. So if you remember, the red tunic protects you from fire. So she's actually made it now. So your hat changes color. There's a lot more detailing on the actual tunics. They're pretty cool. The function is the same. We got the blue tunic, which is a little bit more of a navy blue, but I really like it. You almost look evil. It's pretty cool. Um, let's re-equip our... A red one. Now we're gonna look at Din's fire. Last time Din's fire didn't really do anything, but if you use it now, what you're gonna notice is it sets the whole area ablaze. And it's it's pretty slick actually. It's gonna sit there and burn and burn and burn. I think we started a pretty nasty forest fire. Next we got Aurora's Wind. Now this guy's pretty cool. So this is like your own personal little like teleport thing. So if I right click this once. We've created like a teleport zone there, and if I run to like the left side of this bridge, or sorry, of that road by this rock, and I click it again, oh yeah, boom! We are all the way back to where we set up our warp point. You can see our uh, our forest fire burning away. Pretty cool stuff. Alright guys, and one of the last items we haven't looked at yet are the actual recipes for the arrows. Now these arrows are craftable now. They take five sticks and two flint. So if we build one of them, there you have it. You get ten arrows per quill or quiver, I guess. We can't really use them yet because we don't have a bow, but I'm certain that'll be coming soon. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, fave, and subscribe. Make sure to check out this mod in the workshop. It is really awesome. I have other videos describing the other parts of the mod, that like all the detailing of it. I'll put links to the videos right at the beginning. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. They really help, and I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye.